On August 31st, 2018, agents assigned by the Chinese Communist Party organized some relatives of Christians from the Church of Almighty God, who had fled to South Korea from China to hold a press conference at the Jeju Parliament under the pretext of seeking for relatives. They strongly requested the Korean authorities to deport the displaced Christians back to China. Between September 1 and September 4, Ms. Oh, a pro-Chinese Korean activist, recruited professional demonstrators along with some relatives of Christians from the Church of Almighty God to stage false, spontaneous demonstrations respectively at the church's communities in Seoul and Chungcheonbuk-do. And before the Blue House, the executive office of the President of South Korea, during the demonstrations, Mr. Peter Zorer, an Austrian reporter and the executive director of the Forum for Religious Freedom Europe, was one of the witnesses on site. He witnessed the hateful representations of the self-styled demonstrators and had interviews with some Christians from the Church of Almighty God who are in South Korea. He stated, that the Church of Almighty God has been subjected to persecution in China, and that the church members had fled to South Korea and sought asylum there for religious freedom. He also pointed out that it is the Chinese Communist Party that had disrupted their families, while the Church of Almighty God had not been responsible for family disruption. Please join us for the footage of his interviews. All of us, 14 brothers and sisters, are here. And our relatives, according to Wu Miang Wu, have come to South Korea to rule for us. One of my relatives has also come. This is my wife and this is my son. The word from the group of Ms. Wu says that we are controlled by the church. Obviously, they are lying. They also said that after we came to South Korea, my mother-in-law was ill, but my wife didn't go back to take care of her. This is also a lie, because my mother-in-law had already passed away before the three of us came to South Korea. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is very funny. It is a blatant lie. Also, they said that my wife and I have ruined the future of our son. Actually, my son goes to school here regularly. So we can see that the CCP did this out of ulterior motives, and that it made up a lot of lies and rumors so that it can dupe the relatives of us, 14 brothers and sisters, into coming here to demonstrate and create troubles. There's no doubt that the CCP has schemes and tricks. Yesterday, I already shared a lot with you, and this is what I want to mention today because I was so indignant today when I learned that they fabricated these rumors about the Church of Almighty God and about my family. Thank you. Thank you. Back in China, even though my son was little, he would sing hymns and read God's words together with us. But because of the CCP government's persecution, he didn't dare to talk about belief in God in public. Let me just read one example. One night, we were walking on the street, and I said to my son, Look, how beautiful the stars are! And my son replied, Yes, they were created by God. But he quickly realized that he couldn't say such things on this occasion. So he said quickly, Oh no, I can't talk about this. Then he covered his mouth. He lived in fear from young age. We lived in Beijing, and in 2012, the environment was very dangerous. A lot of brothers and sisters around us were arrested. There was a young sister, just 18 years old, and she was arrested. The police officers forced her to rip the book of God's words. 
From this incident, I see that the Chinese government is really inhuman, so I was really worried about my son's safety. There were three times when my brothers and sisters and I went to villages to preach the gospel, and the police surrounded us and videotaped us. It was due to God's protection that we managed to escape. But the environment was still very dangerous. Since we arrived in South Korea, we feel so free, and my son no longer worries about not being able to talk about belief in God in public. <laughs> Both my son and I feel a lot better in South Korea. We are in a much better mental state and we are no longer under pressure. However, the CCP's persecution has cast a shadow on my heart. I often have bad dreams where I got arrested by the CCP, and then I will wake up with a start. But whatever rumors the CCP spreads, I believe that the three of us living a happy life here and bearing witness to God is the best rebuttal. Thank you, Thank you very much.